This is the vault at the Bellagio. It's located below the strip beneath 200 feet of solid earth. It safeguards every dime that passes through each of the three casinos above it. And we're gonna rob it. Smash and grab job, huh? Slightly more complicated than that. Oh, yeah. This is courtesy of Frank Catton, new blackjack dealer at the Bellagio. Okay, bad news first. This place houses a security system that rivals most nuclear missile silos. First, we have to get within the casino cages, which anybody will tell you takes more than a smile. Next, through these doors, each of which requires a different six-digit code changed every 12 hours. Past those lies the elevator. This is where it gets tricky. The elevator won't move without authorized fingerprint identification. Which we can't fake. And vocal confirmation from both the security system within the Bellagio and the vault below. Which we won't get. Furthermore, the elevator shaft is rigged with motion detectors. Meaning if we were to manually override the lift, the shaft's exit would lock down automatically and we'd be trapped. Now, once we get down the shaft, though, then it's a piece of cake. Just two more guards with Uzis and the most elaborate vault door ever conceived by man. Any questions? No, tunneling is out. Their sensors monitoring the ground 100 yards in every direction. If a groundhog were to nest there, they'd know about it. Anyone else? You said something about good news? Yeah. The Nevada Gaming Commission stipulates that a casino must hold in reserve enough cash to cover every chip it play on its floor. That means, on a weekday, by law, it has to carry anywhere between 60 and 70 million dollars in cash and coin. On the weekend, between 80 and 90 million. On a fight night, like the one two weeks from tonight, the night that we're gonna rob it, 150 million without breaking a sweat. Now, there are 11 of us, each with an equal share. So you do the math. Exactly. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Say we get into the cage and, and through the security doors there and down the elevator we can't move and past the guards with the guns and into the vault we can't open. Without being seen by the cameras. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, well, say we do all that. Uh, we're just supposed to walk out of there with $150 million in cash on us without getting stopped? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>